a reflection of what we're seeing now with you know people online ranting and raving about movies when they don't when they're not done well especially you know with the fandom menace in terms of the star wars fans how they kind of go at directors and get at them you know which is a kind of a new phenomenon too with social media that fans have the ability to say hey that movie stinks redo it or we're not going to support you um and it's actually worked pretty well recently isn't it? with a sonic hedgehog uh, movie you see that the new trailer come out with that and that looks fucking cool they put the sonic the hedgehog trailer out i think in april of this year and it was re- met with fucking you know just pure mockery and laughs and just you know disappointment because obviously the animation or the whatever the cgi they used was really really bad and then they kind of went back to the drawing board they redesigned the sonic they even kind of edit i think they re-edited the entire story arc so it kind of comes off a little bit more funny now it's a bit more of a comical edge they put the trailer out the other day and it's got wide it's got so much praise online it was trending up thing for a bit last night everyone's kind of got only good things to say about it and i've also liked what's happening now is i love the the a lot of the quote-unquote fandom menace youtubers who i kind of follow have really gone out of their way to let everybody know that hey we didn't actually win this is more so and this is more so what we want the production companies to do in general right to have an ear open to the fans to listen to some constructive criticism not all criticism because sometimes if you try and appease the fans completely you'll just be stuck in pre-production you know for an entirety you have to kind of maybe some make some executive decisions on what you decide to go creatively or whatever it may be but there are some aspects of especially when it comes to you know really nerdy shit that only a specific group of people were going to watch anyway right and that isn't necessarily going to have the possibility of permeating popular culture. You know, there's not a lot of people who, there's not, you know, I'm, I, don't, I don't think a lot of the general public are going to be running towards the cinema to go watch Sonic the Hedgehog movie. But if you can capture the actual hardcore fans, they will, they won't stop, um, you know, they won't stop preaching or talking about that movie if it's good. They won't stop talking about it. And then in general, that will then pique the interest of the casual fans. Could be like, oh, cool. What are these geeks and nerds? Why are they so interested in this movie? They'll check it out. And then, you know, that's when then it kind of turns into becoming a cult movie after the fact. But you have to just kind of, you know, hone in on your on your market or on your niche, on your kind of target audience. And I like the Fandom Menace YouTube channels have been specific and been saying, look, we didn't actually win. This should be the normal state of affairs. But as a way to kind of reward the production company for actually listening to us, let's go out there and back the movie. Let's go out there and watch it. Let's go and invest all our money and, you know, in the merch and everything else that surrounds it and really show them that, hey, because you listened to us and because you delivered on the promise, we're now going to support you with hard-earned cash for that. Because, you know, most of the time, production companies don't really run by... uh, that's all surprised they went back and redid the Sonic the Hedgehog movie because it's not really, there's no real um, emotion or empathy when it comes to those kind of decisions. It's mostly a monetary thing. So probably Paramount, whoever they may be, who is producing uh, Sonic, looked at the numbers and said, hey, if we're having this kind of ne- negative reaction before the movie's released, we're probably going to lose a lot of money by the time it gets released, right? So they want to recoup some of their funds. And, but, you know, they've got Jim Carrey and a few other people in the movie who, you know, who I'm sure weren't cheap to book. So they want to recover some of the funds. So the best way to do it is to kind of go back to the drawing board, deliver a better product in the hope that that will then spur the fans to proselytize and to kind of preach about it to their friends. And then that will then again, you know, make them the money that they so love. But again, for us fans, we have to make sure that we kind of reward good behavior in that respect and kind of make sure we go and support it. So yeah, definitely check out that Sonic the Hedgehog movie if you have a chance. It looks, it looks fucking awesome. Um, I can't wait to see it when that comes out too um let's move on to some other topics here what else do we have here oh we got what the hell is happening this is a is this a do with kevin hart it must be right yeah so 